Welcome to today's music training, Dan. I'm Flute XGPT, your music teacher. Hello. I want to learn Sally Garden. Can we practice that today? Absolutely, Dan. Sally Gardens is a great choice. Let's load that song into the Music X machine. Would you like to listen to the reference audio of Sally Gardens before we start practicing? It could be a helpful refresher. Actually, no need. Sure, let's begin with the fixed tempo adaptive mode, just to see what you can do. Please try to play the song following the playhead and the metronome. Whenever you make a mistake, your haptic gloves will fix them. I'm turning on visual KR feedback. Your performance will be reflected on the score in real time. Let's go then. Great, let's start the practice session. It seems like the song is a bit challenging at this tempo. Let's slow it down a bit to give you more time to think and react. We'll play it at 70% of the original tempo. Now, let's focus just on the first four bars. We'll practice this segment until you're comfortable with it. Let's hear the reference audio of the current segment. Are you ready for another go? Yeah, let's give it another try. All right, let's start the practice session again. You'll have more time now, so take it easy. Wait, this is too slow. This is not exciting anymore. I understand that you want to keep the excitement, Dan. However, when practicing a new song, it's important to slow down initially. This allows you to focus on each note and get the fingering right. Once you're comfortable with the notes, we can gradually increase the tempo back up. Trust me, the excitement will return as your performance improves. Shall we continue with the slower tempo? I see. Let's start slowly then. Great understanding, Dan. Let's practice the first four bars at the slower tempo. Remember, accuracy first, speed later. Excellent work on the notes, Dan. Every note is correct now in terms of pitch. However, it seems that the timing still needs some work. To help with this, let's use the force mode. This mode will guide your fingers strictly according to the song's rhythm. It's like dancing with a lead dancer. You just follow the lead. Let's give it a try, shall we? Cool, let's do the force mode then. Fantastic, Dan. Your timing has improved significantly, and you're getting the notes perfectly. Now, let's move on to the next four bars of the song. Let's switch back to the fixed timing adaptive mode, which is essential for sight playing. Alright, the haptic gloves will only correct your mistakes. Try to get as many notes right as you can. Wait, did you change mode? Which mode are we in? We're currently using the fixed timing adaptive mode, Dan. Are you ready to continue? Well, can we switch back to force mode? That was quite nice. Sure, Dan. Can you tell me why you prefer the force mode at the moment? I could just relax all my fingers and the gloves would have me covered. I see your point, Dan. However, while the force mode can indeed guide you through the song, the goal of our practice is to help you learn to play on your own. You can't truly learn if you're not actively trying. The fixed timing adaptive mode provides a balance between guidance and freedom. Can we proceed with that mode? I see. Let's do the adaptive then. Remember, Dan, we have the visual KR feedback on. You can see your performance reflected on the score in real time. This can help you understand how the notes you're playing correspond to the music sheet. Let's continue with the practice session. That was great. 
That was excellent. Dan, you got all the notes correct, and your timing was nearly perfect. Now, let's move on to the next four bars of the song. Are you ready? Definitely. Let's give it a go. Actually, can we change the tempo back up to 100%? That was... I think I'm ready. Sure, Dan. Let's set the tempo back to 100% of the original. Here it goes. <laughs> 